Have you ever been blown away by a real estate listing? Well, some of these homes for sale make headlines for all the wrong reasons. Any house hunter will know that first impressions can be deceiving, but the owners of these seemingly ordinary properties have taken their unique design taste to the very extreme. From creepy collectibles to eye-watering decor and ghoulish figures, these are the most terrifying property listings ever, so let's go ahead and take a look. Up first, we go to the Jailer's House in Vermont. In November of 2020, this charming Vermont property landed on the real estate market and it quickly attracted attention, but not due to its quaint facade or leafy one-acre garden. Situated on Courthouse Drive in the town of Goodall, this timber-clad home offers 2,200 square feet of inside space, as well as a rather unique history. Step through the front door and all seems normal, aside from some rather old-fashioned decorative choices. The traditional property was built in 1878 and is overflowing with period fixtures, including hardwood floors, large sash windows, with timber shutters and original wood paneling all throughout the home. Yet the unassuming property begins to get less normal as soon as you step into the basement. Take the stairs down and you'll find yourself in an authentic jail, which has been in place since the late 19th century. The property was originally a jailer's house for Essex County, so the attached jail was where they would have any kept criminals doing wrong in the local area. Over the years, the home has been updated, but for some reason, perhaps fear, the jail has been left completely intact. The space hasn't been used as the Essex County Jail since 1969, and yet it looks untouched. The haunting room comes complete with seven cells and bathroom facilities, as well as plenty of cobwebs and grime. There's also an attached jailer's office. The creepy historic home was originally listed for $150,000, but it appears to have sold for $80,000. Up next, we go to the House of Mannequins in California. When this unique home hit the real estate market in February of 2021, the listing quickly went viral. Not because of its fixer-upper potential or its location in the sought-after area of South Lake Tahoe, California, but for something that no one was at all prepared for. Inside the 2,200 square foot dwelling seems like a completely ordinary suburban property. Built in 1962, the house has been split into two units with a total of five bedrooms and three bathrooms. And aside from some old-fashioned interior design, there's nothing here that would instantly scare away potential buyers. That is, however, until you venture inside the property's second unit. That's right, dotted around the upstairs apartment, you'll find dozens of eerie mannequins, each dolled up in glitzy ball gowns, as if they were attending a party. Each one has been posed with purpose throughout the otherwise nondescript residence. Some of them look like they're in mid-dance, while others are casually sitting in the living room, as if they were watching television. Unsurprisingly, the unexpected display led to the house racking up hundreds of thousands of views on the Realtor app after just weeks of being on the market. Many even reached out to the real estate agent to find out the story behind the dolls. As it turns out, the current homeowner has been collecting mannequins for 20 years and has an absurd obsession with them. The property currently has over 160 mannequins inside. The property eventually sold for $500,000 after 129 days on the market and we wonder if the new owners kept those mannequins. Up next, we go to the Ontario Clown House. From spiders to things that go bump in the night, we all have fears that make our blood run cold. But if you're scared of clowns, you might want to go ahead and look away, because this seemingly idyllic house in Brantford, Ontario could be your worst nightmare. Nestled on a quiet suburban street, the pretty normal looking bungalow goes from sweet to scary very quickly. The house found itself up for sale this year for around $190,000, and it quickly became a very popular listing. When you first step inside the 750 square foot home, nothing really stands out. Yet as you move from room to room, taking in dated wallpapers and lace curtains, you get a creepy feeling that you're not alone. The clown theme begins subtly with Ronald the McDonald fridge magnets in the kitchen and this rather creepy doll in the dining room. Then suddenly you find yourself in a house full of clowns, entirely surrounded by dolls, framed portraits, circus theme rugs, life-size statues and glass cabinets filled with miniature clown trinkets. There's even an entire basement level kitted out with clown toys, memorabilia, and artwork. Yet surprisingly, the story behind the house isn't as scary as you might think. The homeowner's son told Vice that the clowns came about after his mother looked for a way to curb his father's drinking. After every time they went out, instead of buying a beer, they instead purchased clown. The result you get is a house filled with more than 1,500 clowns collected over a 25-year period each representing a drink that wasn't consumed. The unusual collection wasn't enough to put buyers off and eventually the property did sell. Up next, we go to the Connecticut Crime Scene House. Interior design is a very personal thing. While some people love minimalistic white aesthetic, others enjoy loud patterns, bright colors, and all out drama. Yet some homeowners definitely have different taste, as this Connecticut house proves. 
Nestled in the sought-after neighborhood of Evan, the spacious property has all the hallmarks of a great family home, but once you step inside, you'll see it's definitely not child-friendly. Built in 1962, it's akin to a truly terrifying crime scene. The home's interior is decorated with custom-made furniture, while every wall offers unusual paint effects that resemble blood splatter patterns. The dining room even comes complete with an entire wall of underwear, and if that wasn't bad enough, let's go ahead and check out the kitchen. The 3,000 square foot home has five bedrooms and four bathrooms, but the kitchen is perhaps the most disturbing place. While the cabinets look like they're covered in broken glass, the walls are smeared in blood red paint. There's definitely something very Buffalo Bill about this house. The house has been on and off the market for many years and was last listed for $300,000 in 2016, but it's unclear if a buyer has since been found. The listing agents revealed that the sellers were artists, which explain the very bold decorative choices, but it's definitely not going to help them sell their house. Up next, we go to the Michael Myers house in New Hampshire. The sellers of this New Hampshire home got into the spooky spirit just in time for Halloween when they listed this home in October of 22. While at first glance, the property photos of this two-bed, two-bathroom home that sits at 1,600 square feet may seem pretty standard, but if you look closely, you'll see in every photo hides a sinister secret. Have you spotted them yet? Yeah, that's right. Every photo in the listing includes a creepy Michael Myers-esque figure sometimes lurking in the background or sometimes posing in plain sight. If you can manage to ignore this freaky photo bomber, the main level of the Cape style home features a traditional living room, kitchen, and dining room with two spacious bedrooms upstairs. The walkout basement opens out into a backyard and it includes a laundry room and a bar and lounge area as well as a playroom and office. If you can get past the unwanted visitor, you may be able to appreciate the hilltop home's rustic charm. Seen here from the dining room, the home stands on three lush acres on a quiet dead-end street, surrounded by leafy woodlands. Or some of these features may just underline the reality that there's no one nearby to hear you scream. However, the property is certainly designed to make the most of a great outdoors. In addition to the main house, there's also a spacious wooden deck, ideal for grilling and outdoor entertaining. Not to mention a tree house, a chicken coop, and a beekeeping hut as well. The home was on the market for $375,000 and sold for the full asking price to someone who was either a real horror buff or brave enough to forget these haunting images. Up next, we go to this neglected townhouse in Devon. The coastal county of Devon is one of England's most sought after places for both house hunters and holiday makers. So when you picture the idyllic hotspot, you'd be forgiven for thinking of cute cottages and incredible homes by the sea. However, this dark and dingy property is far from what you might imagine. The house is located in a seaside resort and it's caused quite the stir when it hit the market in March of 2019, and its surprisingly low price tag was the least of it. When the house went to auction with a guide price of $70,000, it gained a lot of interest from the property developers and first-time buyers looking for a bargain. In the area, the average house cost around $360,000, making this listing something of a steal at first glance. But step inside and the reason behind the home's low valuation becomes very, very clear. Deemed unsafe and structurally unstable by the real estate agents, the house has far more issues than damaged floors and broken windows. Head upstairs and you'll find entire rooms caked in pigeon waste, not to mention in some areas, the excrement piles up to two feet deep, which one of the main reasons why people weren't able to view the property in person. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse, there's a giant pigeon-headed figure but hiding behind one of the doors. But as it turns out, this creepy addition was all part of the auctioneer's marketing plan to promote what was otherwise a rather difficult listing. Yet despite the home's state of decay, it sold for more than double the asking price in April of 2019. Up next, we go to this creepy fairy tale home in Canada. Yet not all nightmarish real estate listings are scary, as this whimsical fairy tale home proves. Positioned in the city of White Rock in British Columbia, Canada, the home is pretty inviting upon first glance, thanks to its French-inspired design touches and southern-style aesthetic. Although the mannequins that line the exterior balcony and the ferris wheel that decorates the roof could provide a clue of what awaits inside. With some homes, unusual interior design can be quite off-putting, especially when you attempt to visualize your own belongings in the rooms. Yet this house definitely makes the task way harder. Every single room in this 3,300 square foot pad is overflowing with kooky extras, weird and wonderful decorations, and very eye-watering colors. While the main living room is an explosion of barbecue-esque decor and Christmas and Easter themed fixtures, the kitchen boasts a model railway and an orange and yellow green color palette. There's plenty of unusual homewares lining its walls, from pink ceilings to life-size polar bears, checkerboard floors, and shelving filled with dolls. Every space reveals a new awe-inspiring detail. 
The quirky four-bedroom property could definitely be described as one of a kind, which might be why it's failed to sell since landing on the market of the summer of 2021. Although they also have an absurd asking price of $4 million. All right, everyone, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Like I mentioned in the beginning, follow all my social media and also 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe. So just if you're watching, just click the subscribe button. It's free. It means a lot. And then an alternative option would be to become a member, which costs a couple dollars. But then, you know, I'll be calling you guys, FaceTiming you guys. You get cool badges. You get exclusive videos. Um, I'll be making videos that I can't show like public channel. So you guys get a ton of cool features and by clicking here and becoming a member. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thank you for the constant support. Feel free to share this video on anything and I'll see you in the next video. Later.